one, let's begin in or we'll stay in rather in Zamfara State, where the governor, Bilu Matawale, has okayed the death penalty for bandits, kidnappers, as part of measures to stem the tide of insecurity in the state. Governor Bilu Matawale announced this while signing into law a bill prohibiting and punishing banditry, cattle rustling, cultism, kidnapping, and other incidental offenses 2022. He adds that under the law, anyone found guilty of aiding or abetting the crimes mentioned is liable to life imprisonment, 20 years imprisonment, or 10 years imprisonment without options of fine. Earlier, Speaker of State House of Assembly, Nasiru Magaya, said the law will serve as a legal instrument for prosecuting banditry-related offenders in the state. The law I have just signed will serve as a legal instrument for prosecuting banditry-related offenders. The new law has provided that any person found guilty of banditry, kidnapping, culturally, cultism, or being impermanent to the bandit is liable to the death penalty. This issue of armed banditry or insecurity is not somebody who will take it to play politics with it. Because armed bandit and the criminal element in the state doesn't know a member of APC or PDP, Christian or Muslim. So today is another historic day. I'm not going to leave any stone unturned to make sure that anybody found wanting to pass warrant of the law and order. And in Boronu, in Boronu, troops of Operation Hadin Kai have reportedly killed three Boko Haram terrorists in an ambush in Gubio local government council area of the state. The ambush was on suspected Boko Haram terrorists who were reportedly terrorizing herdsmen and stealing their animals to the axis of Mandara Mountain in Goza. Security sources say the troops neutralized three of the Boko Haram terrorists and recovered their weapons to include two AK-47 rifles, one bow and arrow, two AK-47 magazines, and one motorcycle. Let's now discuss the new security measures put in place by the Zamfara state government to tackle the insecurity. Chairman Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses, Zamfara State, Abdullahi Shinkafi, joins me via Zoom. Good to have you join us. Can you hear me, Mr. Shinkafi? Yeah, I hear you very well. All right. Um, we, we report the, the attacks in Zamfara State, um, and, and it's, most of these reports are all over the media. But you have, I'm guessing, of course, you will have some privileged information that the media doesn't have. So talk to Ross about um, the scale of the, of the situation in Zamfara um, that prompted the, the decision or the policy that um, residents of Zamfara should begin arming themselves and, and get, get license from the police command. Hey, thank you for having me. Something. Uh, even that what fronted the governor to speedily uh, send and uh, allow to the House of Assembly to enact it as a law in the state. And the, because of the rampant and senseless killings, kidnapping, to rustling, blood leaking, as well as uh, uh, destruction of villages by the un ungodly unbanded and the criminal elements. There is attack in Zugu under Ukrim uh, local government where more than 35 villages were ransacked and sacked from their territorial homes. And that is also that attack in, in murder in Guso local government. And that murder is one of the Asian towns under Guso local government. People were, were sat, and people were knapped, and people were killed by the armed bandit. And the governor, two years, have given an open window for this initiative accord. Why he extended had a fellowship and extended hard hand of a hand to uh, he extended an olive tree to the armed bandit to come down and surrender their arms 
and impress peace. Few of them impress peace and some of them refuse to repent. And now there is no time for peace accord. The government is level to no option than to declare total war against armed bandits. And with the recent, uh, with the recent uh, attack, then the governor now called on all the citizens of the Zanfara state to exercise their fundamental human right guaranteed by the constitution. The constitution of the Federal of Nigeria, 1999 constitution as amended, has given a citizen of this country mm. right to life, right to liberty, and free from slavery and torture. So because of this fundamental human right guaranteed, a 99 constitution as amended in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the constitution, then the, 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 the citizens of this Ozin Zanfara has level to no option than to Mr. Shinka, if, if I may quickly, if I may just quickly the, jump in, because I, the, the while speaking yesterday, the governor also talked about how um, conventional security forces um, seem to be overstretched and they do not have the uh, modern war equipment or modern equipment to prosecute bandits and insurgents. Um, has the government of Zamfara State lost confidence um, in our security agencies? You know, the social contract between the people and the government in terms of provision of security of life and property lies on the commandantial armed forces of the federal of Nigeria as enshrined in the constitution of Nigeria. So the police, army, a civil defense, and other security agencies cannot take order directly from the government. They took order directly from the service state or the uh, different agencies. So on this note, the, 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 the population of Dampara State is more than 8 million. And the number of police are not up to 3,000. And even the military are not up to 2,000. So the Comes the, the camps of armed bandits, the arms they have in their possession is more than the armory of police, army, civil defense, DSS put together. And also the numbers of these armed banditry camps are scattered all over the state across the 40 local governments. So on this note, the excesses of this armed bandit cannot be longer tolerated by the state government and the citizens of uh, the uh, innocent people. If a criminal can own a AK-49 rapper and also own a AK-47 rapper, rocket launcher, grenade, even gun truck. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the people of the state who are helpless because the security uh, 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 who are supposed to do the needful are not fully equipped and they are not also fully uh, financed and they're on that train, and they need a modern equipment to, to, to tackle this issue of insecurity in the process because of the terrain. The, the topographical area where these bandits are in their hideout, you need a modern technology, you, but, you, you but need aerial satellite or deployment of this uh, and, and I, techno, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, sure that, jet uh, Mr. Shinka, to fight them. Just a minute. I'm sure that Nigerians also um, empathize uh, with the, the people of Zamfara State, and then we can, we can sense, sense the frustration coming from the government. But there are those who are genuinely worried about the anarchy that this might, might create. Um, again, because there is now a death penalty um, um, law, and there, it almost sounds like I think it was also a suicide law. Um, how is the government, or what is government doing to ensure that this doesn't result in some sort of anarchy? The government is trying to follow the, the due process. There is Firearms Act of 1958 and Firearms Act of Regulation of 1990. So on that Firearms uh, Regulation Act, it was clearly spelled out who are who are entitled to have possession of the firearms in accordance with the firearms law in Nigeria through the Commissioners of police in the 36th state of the federation, including, Abu, including Abuja, you must not be less than 17 years. You must not have uh, not have any criminal record or domestic violence. You must not have been convicted for any criminal offenses. 
you must also be physically and mentally fit. That you must have a, you don't have any deformity on your eyesight. So based on this uh, spell out condition for possession of firearms, for that is a, this long, long gun barrel, uh, double barrel, or from action, is for gaming and hunting. But that is, that is, that is plea, that is plea in any law for self defense. If you have, if you, if you want to be safety of yourself and for your family. But because of the safety of the danger of this uh, armed bandit, then the, the, the governor now call on this, the, the indigent of the state to own firearms through legitimate means on court. He has never specified, specified the type of arms that somebody should bear. But if a criminal can have a firearm mm. and come and ransack the villages, right. kill people, kidnap them, demand for one billion, 200 million ransom for innocent, innocent citizen. Then there is one uh, uh, um, Nelson Mandela of blessed memory of South Africa, mm. make a quotation. He said, when the government have lost control at the center and they cannot protect the life and property of citizenry, then the people have led to no option than to be outlaw. So what we are trying to do, we are not trying to tell people to be outlaw, but we have told governor to enact a law for prohibiting armed banditry, kidnapping, cultism, terrorism, and other related offenses, including cattle rustling. And with this, it's a death penalty. For those aiding and abetting armed banditry are also to, uh, the, to go for life imprisonment and uh, uh, or minimum of 20 or 10 years uh, imprisonment without option of fine. So on this note, uh, the governor also right. go ahead to constitute a community protection guard which will now complement the effort of the conventional security to tackle this issue of insecurity. We, we will have to see how, uh, Mr. Shinkafi, because there are those who are wondering why the government did not just go the path of um, a community policing in the state like we've seen in the southwest, but we'll, we'll have to see how this plays out in Zampara State. Thank you so much for talking to us, Chairman, Committee on Persecution of Banditry and Related Offenses, Zampara State, Abdullahi Shinkafi. Thank you very much.